Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at basically how you can raise your renown with the Emerald Dream Wardens and of course additionally how you can get some pretty cool rewards from them. Now to unlock the Dream Wardens is pretty straightforward. Begin the quest line to unlock the Emerald Dream which you can begin in Voldraken and will take you through to the Anaran Plains. You will then play through a short scenario and you will be able to enter the Emerald Dream. Upon first entering the Emerald Dream, once you come to the first main hub section, then basically uh, you're pretty much good to go. You'll unlock the Wardens and you'll be able to continue along your way. Now, how to raise renown with them? Well, there's a couple ways. Raising renown with the Dream Warden faction is pretty straightforward and relatively simple. There's quite a few sources, but the main ones are going to be the main quest line and signed quests. Main quests give you about 2,500 rep per chapter, whereas the signed quests can give you between 250 to 1,000. Not to mention as well, the weekly quests for the satchels will give you 500 Dream Warden e reputation, and of course the Super Bloom event as well will also give you a sizable chunk of reputation each week being a thousand. So realistically there's a very, 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 very good you know, amount of weekly reputation as always with the weekly quests. On top of that you also get 1,250 250 every single time you do an emerald bounty up to the first five so in total that equals 1250 which is pretty good and then of course you also get the elite rares you can kill six a day for 50 each and that will give you 300 in total world quests will give you 50 reputation and treasures for the first time opening will give you 200 each so there's a pretty good amount of reputation gain one thing that is super important to understand though is that weekly there will be some additional side quests and main chapters that unlock. So make sure that you clear those because you're going to obtain a fair chunk uh, of you know reputation when you initially complete that. So try and do that uh, kind of immediately. It gives you some pretty good rewards and it's pretty important. So I would definitely say um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty like good. So Essentially, reputation raising is fairly straightforward. I would say your best way is finish your emerald bounties, finish your weekly quests, and then if you really, really, really want to farm, do the six elite rares per day and kind of leave it at that. Beyond that, finding the treasures is also fine. They'll give you a nice sizable boost, but then you're best off just rather waiting. World quests are not the most exciting way to raise rep, and they can cause you some problems. Now, why should you raise rep? Well, the main reason for raising your rep is going to be two things. Firstly, the Dreambound Augment Rune is a very big pickup, being the permanent elixir buff for this expansion. So every expansion, they bring out a permanent elixir buff that increases your main stats, and it's super helpful for a lot of players, as it's a cheaper alternative to the main elixirs that players run on their characters. Now, of course, as well, uh, alongside that, you also gain a whole bunch of collectibles, but you also gain a sizable number of flight stones. This is also something that's super duper helpful. Flight stones are necessary for upgrading and obtaining a whole bunch of flight stones and dream seeds and the heroic reward from rank 20 enables you to upgrade some gear as well as also pushing your character's item level upwards. In terms of the collectibles from the renowned quartermaster, you have a pretty straightforward situation with a couple mounts that you can pick up, which are going to be pretty cool. You also have some gear that you can pick up, and of course, this is where you'll be buying the Dreambound Augment Rune. In terms of the Dream Infusion Vendor, there is no Renown Gating at all. So all of these mounts are more dependent on having the Dream Infusion than they are in terms of anything else. And then finally, the last vendor that's majorly affected by Renown is going to be Talissa Whisperbloom. She will have increased amounts of mounts that you can buy, and once you get to rank 18, you will be able to purchase the mounts that drop from the Emerald Bounty Caches instead of having to actively farm them. And that is that. That is pretty much everything you need to know. If there is anything else you need to know, give me a shout. But otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. So I wish you guys all the best of luck when it comes to farming. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care and bye.